Hi there, Pisces. Here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. We'll see what's going on with your person. What do the cards have to say today? We have Eight of Wands. Two of Sword. Ten of Cups. Three of Sword. Three of Pentacle. Queen of Cups. Five of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. All right, so your person is um, on their way to make a decision here, a decision that's weighed heavily on their heart. Um, however, it's going to make both of you very happy. Uh, your person just wants happiness. They want to be with you. They want to build a foundation with you. Uh, they feel secure uh, when they're with you. They feel uh, supported. They feel loved. Um, there's something about just being near you that gives them a sense of, um, gosh, peace of mind. Like all is right with the world when they're next to you. And all they need to do is like look into your eyes in order to get that feeling. Uh, so it's like sweet energy. It's like a soft energy. It's it's kind of like feminine energy. Um, your person is feeling like that feminine energy, that sweetness, that softness. Um, and they're 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 making life changing decisions right now. Uh, they're very focused, and they're they're about to uh, make a life changing decision. Um, I got that right away with this Eight of Wands, Two of Swords. It's like they're on their way to this decision making here. And it's meant to be here, Wheel of Fortune. It's like um, there's a destiny at play here. So your person is um, getting guidance whether they realize it or not. You know, um, sometimes we are, you know, we hear that whisper in our ear and it's it's really is spiritual guidance when sometimes we think it's our own mind speaking to us. But your person is getting getting um, what they need to make this life-changing decision. Yeah, it's like clarity here. Uh, moon, uh, it's like there's something coming up to the surface here, and, and the light is going to shine through um, this energy. And maybe it's this... Um, Maybe it's the full moon, the present full moon that is um, inspiring your person uh, to, you know, release any kind of fears, um, you know, and, and connect with this Ten of Cups energy. We have four cups on this Ten of Cups. So it's like there was something very challenging that is about to transform here. Uh, four of Cups, Ten of Cups. It's like finding... Finding the answers, releasing the fear, you know, healing old heart pain, uh, emperor, yeah, taking charge of the way forward here, making decisions, communicating wants and needs. Uh, there's a turning point here, and your person's very focused on um, building on the foundation of this relationship. The foundation of this relationship is strong, uh, but it needs work. It needs support. Uh, we have five of pentacles there, so it's like there's some worry about it. It's like, you know, that three of swords there and that five of cups, it's like... Um, Re there's some regret and there's some a little bit of um gosh emotional um uh, gosh it's like um they want to build with you but they got to release and change some things in their internal world you know three of swords is like thinking about um, thinking about heartbreak, you know, and five of cups is like feeling sorrowful, being regretful, maybe feeling guilty for not offering you more. Uh, but now they're seeing the potential. They're seeing that there's a foundation in place for this relationship, in place uh, for this love. You know, the romantic side is coming out, that, that um, nurturing side here. We have death on this queen of cups. So everything's about to change for your person like they're they're just about to make these life-changing decisions which everything is going to change it's going to change for the better though emotionally spiritually financially 
all of it. You know, the, the universe is backing this these decisions. Again, whether your person realizes it or not, the spirit is guiding them uh, to true happiness. And happiness is with you. Judgment. Yeah, judgment is the spirit world saying, you know, blowing the horn. Bum -ba -da, hear the call. You know, this is the way forward. Trust. Go for it here. And your person is putting in the effort here. Knight of Swords on that Eight of Pentacles. It's like, yeah, it's like, all right, let's go for it. Your person is being given like the go. Like go. It's time. It's go time. Um, and your person is, is, is heading towards, uh, making a major life decision, which is going to change everything, uh, about themselves and the, uh, trajectory of this relationship. All right, let's close with a, uh, Oracle message I'll read in closing. We have number 25. Number 25 is Theta of Venus. Attune yourself to higher consciousness by choosing to access the purest frequencies of love within. Acknowledge lower frequencies such as judgment, fear, doubt, or shame when they arise within or around you. But do not give them a foothold in your heart. You are ready for higher understanding to see things in a new and more positive light. Allow your inner knowing to guide you on a unique, beautiful, and highly spiritual life path. Peace be with you. Bye now.